he did eventually meet Ken, who shares her sexual preference. Oh, I'm going to grab a couple handfuls of that smaller stuff okay. there. I'll get some of this. I was technically a virgin until I was 29 years old. I was a zoophile up until then, and I just basically didn't have much interest in uh, other members of my own species as far as a, a life bond or anything. But when I met Ellie here, I just, we clicked. It, it was the one person that uh, I felt within a week, probably, after I met her, we were meant to be together. Ken and Ellie met through a zoo friend on the internet. After a few weeks, they arranged their first date. Well, the, the first night that he came, to, came up to visit me, um, I took him down to the barn to introduce him to some of my horses and some of the other horses that I enjoyed at the barn. And I took him in and introduced him to my miniature stallion. And kind of, I don't know if it was subconscious, kind of, I was very nervous and kind of wanted to do the uh, uh, shock factor, as it were. Um, my miniature stallion was dropped and, ma and masturbating. Uh, when his penis is dropped and he slaps it on his belly, they call that masturbation for stallions. And so I just, I, one thing led to another and I couldn't resist, so I bent down and started sucking on him. And then he tried climbing on top of me, so the next thing I know, my pants are down and I'm bending over for him and I'm like, excuse me, I can't resist. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess part, part of me said, okay, either he's for real and he won't mind this or he's not for real and he's going to be totally freaked out by it and, and run. Um, obviously he didn't run. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I was very tempted at the point to uh, have sloppy seconds. It, it, it turned me on. It, it, was, it was so erotic to, to watch this and just the, the whole thing. And uh, it didn't shock me at all. In fact, I was like, this is pretty cool. <laughs> I think I found somebody here that, that might be on, on my plane here. And it went from there. And we, here we are, married. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have vaginal sex with my miniature stallion. Uh, he's not a whole lot larger than most humans. Um, he is a bit bigger, but not uncomfortably so. Um, I, li I like to, to suck on him orally, uh, and he exp especially enjoys that. I have anal sex with, with, the, with the miniature stallion. He penetrates me, and it's... It's pleasurable, but it's not real intense. It's like I said, the, the, the pleasure that I get from it is more from knowing how much he enjoys having sex with me. He, he tends to tell me about it. He talks a lot. He grunts and, and wickers and, and blows in my ear, etc. And that is very erotic to me, more so than the physical sex. When he's courting me, as it were, trying to entice me to, uh, to bend down or kneel down, um, he he does a lot of uh, um, I call it a hubba hubba. <laughs> he just kind of goes and makes this little hubba hubba noise to me. Um, and then and then once he's in, I mean for for every stroke that he does, he makes this big grunt, grunting noise. And then when he orgasms, he makes an even bigger grunting noise. <laughs> and he tends to like to hold on with his teeth, and I actually have some scars on my back from where he's bitten onto me, just hanging on. Uh, they do the same thing with mares when they have sex, and only mares have fur to hang on to. He tends to get a big <laughs> chunk of skin with me, and that can be quite painful, but usually I don't even notice until after the fact because I'm so caught up in the moment, and then I get up to the house, and Ellie says, oh, I see you've been down fooling around. You've got a big bite mark on your back again. <laughs>